everybody cargo bike life we're gonna make a video today about washing your clothes when you're on bike touring I watch a lot of videos about bike touring and the one thing I rarely ever see is any alternative ways to wash your clothes when you're out on an extended bike tour most people just keep wearing the same clothes or they'll wait till they get to a town and they'll go to a laundromat which is fine but if I were on an extended bike tour like out in the middle of nowhere where there's barely any towns, I would want a way to keep my clothes clean so that every few days I could wash my clothes up, let them dry, and have some clean clothes to put on. So this is one way that you can wash your clothes when you're on a bike tour. And what I'm going to use is a dry bag because I would have a dry bag with me anyway when I'm on tour. I would have all my stuff in dry bags just because my big dummy bags are not completely waterproof. They're water resistant, they're just not waterproof. So, what I got in here is some, just some water. I just put some water in there. Turn the camera down a little more. And what I'm gonna add for detergent is, I'm gonna use some Simple Green because it's non-toxic and biodegradable. And I would have a small thing of this with me anyway in case I had to clean a bike chain or something like that. So I'm just going to pour a little tiny bit of this in there. That should be enough. Now you can see you can see the water is a little green now. Okay. So it's got a little bit of a green tint to it. And the reason I want you to see this is because after we put the clothes in and we wash them, I want you to see the color of the water then. So you can know that it works. So what I got is just some clothes out of the dirty laundry. We were just about to do laundry, so I, I grabbed some clothes. I got some underwears. I got some socks. I got a pair of shorts. So we're gonna see if that's enough water for them. What we want them, we want them submerged in the water. And then what you want is something to kind of beat against the clothes. Something to, to act like an agitator. And I just grabbed a cap off a water bottle. A tennis ball would be great, but I just don't happen to have one. You might have a cap from a water bottle with you. And we're gonna need a, a little bit more water than that. They should be submerged. <clears throat> That's better. So, now what you would do, you would just roll the bag up, trapping some air in there. And you could just agitate it by hand. Just going back and forth. What you want to do is you want to get them agitated real good. And the reason you want to do that is because the clothes get wet, they expand, which opens all the little crevices in the clothes. And then the cap beats against it, which beats the dirt out of it. And the soap particles cling to the dirt particles. This is, this is how laundry works. The other thing you could do if you didn't want to stand and hold that, <clears throat> You could take a bungee cord and you could loop it around something like a tree branch. And you could just sit there and bounce it up and down with the bungee cord. I don't like that because I don't think it agitates it good enough. But if you have a, a camper van, you could also have a strong bungee, five gallon bucket with a lid, put your clothes in there, suspend the bucket in mid air at some point in the van, and as you're driving down the road and you're going over bumps, the, the bucket will agitate up and down. It will, it will, if it was suspended, it would bounce up and down like this the whole time you're driving down the road, which is washing your clothes. I prefer just to hold it, slosh it back and forth. It's very simple, this is not heavy. That little cap in there is agitating everything. And then what you want to do is you really, you want to just put it down and let it soak for a little while, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Let it soak, let it get 
the material good in, in, in the pores and the material open, the, the weave open in the material. And then you would pick it up and you can just beat it back and forth. And you'll learn as you go how long you have to do it. But because it's a video and I don't want to carry on for 20, 30 minutes, we're just going to stop now and we're going to look in the bag. Okay, so you can see the clothes are all soaked up real good. So I'm going to pull the cap out. We're going to pull the shorts out. And all we're going to do is wring them out. Hold that side, please. Now, if you look at the water, <clears throat> it's got a little bit. If you look past the soap, it's got a little bit of a different tint to it. And had we washed them longer, it would have a really dark tint to it. Now, the other thing is, when you do this, and you got this water, don't pour it. If you're near a river or a stream, you can use river or stream water to wash your clothes. Just don't pour this back into the river. Pour it around the base of a tree or pour it in a long line somewhere. Now we've got to rinse them. Just pour some more water in, in your vessel. Put your clothes back in there. Fold it back up. Same thing, agitated a bunch. This will beat the rest of the soap out of the clothes. <clears throat> Open it back up. And if you use too much soap, you might have to actually do that more than once. And then you're just gonna wring your clothes out real good by hand. And then you're just going to hang them up to dry. And they may not be as perfect as when they come out of a washing machine, but you will have clean clothes. And that's the whole point of it. These are cleaner than they were. They smell nice because they got the simple green in them. <clears throat> Maybe you better check if you're allergic to simple green. I don't know if washing your clothes and then putting something on that was washing simple green. If you're allergic to it, you could have a reaction. You could always find some biodegradable dish soap, biodegradable washing soap. But basically, you'd want to wash them longer than I did, though. You'd want to agitate it more. Let them, let them soak first. Get them, you know, sloshed around. Let it soak. Then agitate them. And then, you know, you'd be better off. Now if you look down at the water, you can see it's a little gray, just a little bit. I got some more dirt and soap out. I mean, these are going to go through the washing machine here at the house, but that's just a quick video on how you could wash your clothes if you're out on an extended tour and you're not near a town and you just really need some clean clothes. So this is uh, Cargo Bike Life out. Y'all ride safe. Have a good day. See you later.